Thank you so much for staying with us. You're watching the debrief on Y254 TV. Time for uh, us to talk about the politics of the day. Uh, I'm speaking to political analyst uh, Cyrus Litsog. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you. Pleasure to have you again, uh, like always. It. Now, um, your people, your young people, <laughs> are at it again. <laughs> You always reprimand them, but they seem not to hear you. Uh, you see, it is all about ignorance. Mm -hmm. And you see, ignorance has no defense. When you become defiance, then the society will deal with you. <coughs> now, the incident that happened yesterday in Muranga mm -hmm. is a saddening incident. Mm -hmm. It's something that should not be happening at this particular moment right. because you see when we when kenyans or when the majority of kenyans mm -hmm. voted in uh, ruto in 2013 right. they were perceived as young guys true young presidency mm -hmm. but uh, it has demonstrated otherwise and uh, Whatever we are seeing in this country, if we are not going to handle or to deal with it right now mm -hmm. in the best way, then we'll have a problem mm -hmm. in the future. Very true. Looking at young people, how they are being misused and abused by our politicians or the political elite, as we could put it, the level of ignorance that we have been seeing on our young people is it that we are very idle that every uh, politician that comes on ground to call on us or we are paid the peanuts uh, young people are given to go and cause chaos do you think it's because we are idle or it's just because we have uh, some level of hooliganism in us uh, as i started earlier on i said it is all about ignorance because you can create activity for your own self that you'll engage in. Mm -hmm. Because there are so many, you see, there are classes of youths. Mm -hmm. We are all in different class. There are those who uh, didn't go to school because of one or two reasons, mm -hmm. so they are there. There are those who went to school, but they didn't succeed in whatever they, they, they were working for. So they are there. Mm -hmm. And there are those who are schooled, well informed, and they are there. Mm -hmm. So each and every person is categorized differently. Mm -hmm. And you see, the, 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 uh, the government, mm -hmm. what it has done, or our political leaders, what have done, mm -hmm. what they have done is uh, they have decided not to create sources of employment mm -hmm. for all these people, mm -hmm. for them to use them whenever they want them. Mm -hmm so that they can ride their agenda by riding on the youths. And this is a thing that we should all of us denounce. We should not be part and parcel mm -hmm. of driving someone's agenda mm -hmm. in a negative way. You have mentioned those classes of, of youth who are on the ground and who are used by our politicians. Yeah. Would you say they do this because they are uh, frustrated a lot? Uh, it's not, it's not all about frustration. It's all about the choices. I've decided, to, I've chose that. You see, let me, let, 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 let me say this. Eh? Mm -hmm. We all subscribe to a political party. That one is undis undisputed. It's we true. all subscribe to a political party. Mm -hmm. And where I subscribe as a youth, there's another youth who subscribes there. But we all have different uh, ideologies. Mm -hmm. We all have re different reasons to why we are there. I'm there as a heckler, okay? That is, uh, that is what I, I can do best, mm -hmm. okay? I'm there as an, uh, 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 as an advisor. That's what I can do best. So I'll stay there. And uh, in each and every market, there's a mad person. We can never lack a mad person. Mm -hmm. So it's a narrative, but how are we going to change this narrative that we, we, we have less hecklers mm -hmm. and purpose-driven youth in each and every institution that we have. Now, uh, you mentioning that they are not uh, a frustrated people, uh, it's about a choice. Yeah. But also, we have our politicians 
who use them in this guise of you are my people uh, or maybe they are given some little money to go and uh, do this and that they, they will celebrate having get gotten some money but what was witnessed in moranga uh, comes even after a series of other events were witnessed in western region you remember what has been happening a few uh, days ago and now why are we not learning from our mistakes who do we blame other than uh, our politicians because there's a call that has been, been made by honorable ray lordinga from politicians but again how who should we be blaming we should blame the leaders we have, the leaders we elect. Then we should also blame ourselves as youths. Mm -hmm. One, we have decided not to raise our voices calling for uh, institutions being built or being created mm -hmm. for us to have employment opportunities. But we have decided to be there as psychophants and hecklers so that we can be used, so that it can be given, like, let me say, a token in a day. Mm -hmm. But if we use that opportunity in a positive way, mm -hmm. okay, then our economy as a country will grow. Okay, let us use that platform instead of going to throws, instead of creating chaos, instead of uh, shouting and throwing stone at a fellow youth mm -hmm. just because he's, he, you've been bought, okay, mm -hmm. in one or the other, just to create a uh, 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 an atmosphere that is not friendly, mm -hmm. an atmosphere that will, will, will perceive that uh, so and so is strong or so I'm standing with so and so. It's a very bad narrative. But let us create a scenario where youths will meet, youths will follow leaders, but they have their demands mm -hmm. on the table. Mm -hmm. They have their, their stake at the table. Not only where we are there to be used, then after an agenda has been achieved, mm -hmm. we are nowhere. True. And that has always been the perception. Even now, when we talk of, uh, you see, right now, uh, Deputy President uh, is calling on, uh, let me say, uh, let us have uh, transparency, let us stop corruption. But sometimes back, he was in the same place, he never said, let us stop corruption, mm -hmm. okay? He never talked anything concerning it. Right now, where the, premier, the former premier, what the former, former premier is talking about, is the same things that happened. In several occasions, you've seen youth suffer, youth have been killed, mm -hmm. youth have been uh, clobbered by the GSU, the police, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, because they are subscribing and following the, the, the former premier, okay? Yeah. These things have happened. Mm. So it is, all, it, is, it is <laughs> all about double standard that our leaders portray. True. And this is what we need to see. And it has come out very clearly. Mm -hmm. And this is what we need to sit down and say, we are not going to be used. But let us air our voices. We need industries. Mm -hmm. We need employment opportunities in the country mm -hmm. so that our youth can get that chance and that space. All right. Now, do you think it's irony for the former Premier Ray Lodinga to call on hold for these political meetings, considering he himself has also been on the rallies of the BBI? Yeah, uh, and that's, that's why I say these are what we call double standard. Mm -hmm. Because when it suits you, you are very comfortable. When it does not suit you, you will cry. Mm -hmm. the, it applies to both, okay? Mm -hmm. No one is perfect. But... We, we only come out to lament and cry when something is affecting us. All right. Now let's talk about uh, the law enforcement. We all know it is in the public domain, even in the Constitution, that our police are to, to maintain law and order. We have politicians who have been denied meetings or political meetings and others have been allowed, like it happened over the weekend in Western region. We saw Malala saying the police have been used. And even this is a statement that has been used by the uh, Deputy President, Dr. William Ruto. Are our police really being used by some members of the political class? What I can say is that uh, it depends which side are you at the end of the day. And you see, uh, there's what you call push and pull. Mm -hmm. There's an agenda that the government is pushing, there's an agenda that the perceived opposition is pushing. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it depends at the end of the day which side are you. And, uh, and I still repeat, there's what we call double standard in politics. 
especially in our, in, 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 in our, in our politics in the country. Mm -hmm. When everything favors you, you will never cry. And I repeat, mm -hmm. the, po the, the, w uh, at the place where the DP is today, in the same place where the, 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 the former premier was. Mm -hmm. Former premier used to cry about the, the, the police being used. Mm -hmm. Right now, the deputy president is crying about the police being used. So let us stop applying double standard. Let us, uh, let us know that when you are in leadership, let mm -hmm. us serve and uh, do our and carry out our responsibility the way we are supposed to carry out our responsibility. Mm -hmm. Because today I'll be in leadership. Tomorrow someone else will be in leadership. Mm -hmm. And what I do today will come back to me tomorrow. All right. So we have to be very, very, very careful when we are in that leadership. Let, let us not allow uh, power to control us, mm -hmm. but we should control the power that we have been given and mandated to, to lead. Are they, are they still the politicians that we expect them to pass bills and policies that will protect the uh, common monarchy when it comes to political rallies that they have been calling and the fracas that we are witnessing? We have an institution like the NCIC. Already it has uh, broken their voice and they have said something regarding this. But also when these people have been held accountable of causing chaos, we, ha we hear nothing about them maybe being jailed if it's, it's an hate speech. We have no bills, we have no laws that will jail someone. What should be the way forward? It's not that we don't have laws. We have laws in place. But N NCIC is a, is a backing dog that will only back but won't bite. Uh, or it's a toothless dog. Uh, because you see, NCIC since it, since its establishment, how many people have been arrested and convicted of hate speech? None. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you go to the record, none. So it's an institution that's there. It's like it doesn't understand its mandate, or it is. It's like it is remote controlled. And when you are remote controlled, it becomes a problem to the nation mm -hmm. because this is a national institution. That's supposed to stand up and carry out its mandate independently mm -hmm. without any favors to anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that we can have a cohesive environment, a cohesive nation, but a cohesive nation with a, 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 a toothless institution, mm -hmm. okay, that's supposed to create cohesiveness in the nation, mm -hmm. then. We are just like uh, a banana republic. And the other thing is, uh, mm -hmm. the president should stamp uh, feet and authority on each and everything. Because there's no way we can be, uh, say we are, uh, the president is, is ruling at the moment, and we, have poli we are carrying out the politics day in, day out, mm -hmm. like we are going to an election tomorrow. <laughs> there are only few countries in Africa in East Africa that are uh, yet to carry out the election. That is Tanzania mm -hmm. and Uganda in January. So Tanzania is yet to carry out elections, I think, in November. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, Uganda has to carry out its elections in January. So we are like, there's a, a, a political climate in the country that has always been there since. Mm -hmm. You can't tell when is an election time and you can't mm -hmm. tell w when is a time for our leaders to sit down mm -hmm. and implement their manifestos. Because each and every political party, as I've always said, mm -hmm. gave its manifesto to the people and elaborated it very well. But when it comes to a time when they are, they are in the office, none of them is doing so. Okay? We mm -hmm. are only politicking, politicking to the, to from, 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 the, from the day of election to another day of election. Now, to, f to wind up uh, this uh, discussion, we have a, s a section of leaders from Kiambu County who have called on President Uhuru Kenyatta to have a dialogue with his deputy to end the statement that has been there. Do you think the president, when he does that, if he does that, do you think the political uh, temperatures that have been witnessed in the past few days and the dynasty and the Hustler thing will end? Uh, you see, it's uh, it's already out with the people. It is fine for the presidents to turn down the political temperature in the country right now mm -hmm. by you by ensuring that uh, as th as th as they said, Jubilee is a national party with the, uh, uh, with, the, with the with the main agenda of uh, uniting 
each and every Kenyans. That's why other parties folded to form up one party. party. So they should sit down and look into that, okay? Mm -hmm. And say, okay, fine. There are these issues. Let us air out these issues and solve them. To have peace in the country, okay? Mm -hmm. But the things of dynasty and, uh, and hustler, it's a something that is already down in the people. Mm -hmm. How are we going to stop it? It's only during election. The only thing maybe the president can do today is maybe disband the parliament and call for an election. <laughs> are we ready for that as an issue? We are not ready for that at the moment mm -hmm. because we have a lot of things to be done. We need to focus on uh, the, 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 the COVID thing, on how our students will go to school. Mm -hmm. So there are so many things that, that we need to do as a country, unlike election right now because it's not even the time for election. All right, you of final recommendations to the young people again, you do the, the good cause for them, but I know you will never tire to one them. What do you have for them tonight? <laughs> I just tell them, let us not be complacent, let us not be used. Mm -hmm. Get something to do, involve yourself in productive activity. Let us not waste our time and waste our energy because mm -hmm. when a bullet finds you, it won't spare you. That's very quite true. Uh, thank you so much for finding your time here, Cyrus, and speaking to the young people again and again. And I'm hoping someday they will have uh, heeded to your wisdom and uh, learn from their mistakes. And back home, thank you so much for keeping it Y254. Uh, my name is Ederewa Hilary. I'll be leaving you in the safe hands of DJ Tieska Ken Relbis and Kalondo Nwai Mashariki. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programming. I'll be seeing you again tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, Good night.